Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to Monkey Island Madness on a Thursday. Um, I'm filling in for Jean today. Um, I hope everything's going well for Jean today. Hi, Jeannie. Um, and I, I did an impromptu stream yesterday where I worked on this, and I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this as well. But while I was working on this yesterday, I discovered that one of my markers was dried out. Um, and so I went on YouTube and started watching a bunch of people about how to fix your dried out markers. So before I start, I'm going to do a little try to fix this. And these are inexpensive markers, so if I ruin one, I don't really care. Um, so anyway, um, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, um, was doing hers with denatured alcohol. I don't have any. I do have 70% isopropyl alcohol. I think you can use it. Um, other people were using different alcohols. And um, so I'm just going to try the 70% isopropyl alcohol. If it works, great. If it doesn't, oh well, shoot me. So what they said was go ahead and take the pen apart, which I do this all the time. So um, just I just yanked the chisel point out. And then most of them said um, that your marker should hold. And there's a, a tube down there. I've taken markers apart. There's a tube down there clear plastic that has felt in it that it, and it looks like it has pigment down there as well so I'm going to use one of the rats syringes and most of the people said your um, marker should hold about four milliliters of alcohol so fortunately this and I'll move my art I definitely don't want to be doing this on top of my art I guess duh um, yeah, so I've got about four milliliters here of, um, that is a long nib, isn't it, Eileen? Um, of 70% isopropyl alcohol, and I'm going to stick it down in there and just go ahead and squeeze it in slowly. Um, and hopefully it won't make a big fat mess on my table, and I'm doing it pretty slow. So we'll go ahead and do this and then set it aside and here in a few minutes we'll give it a test and see if this revived it. If it did, great. If it didn't, oh well, no real loss because it was already a piece of crap to begin with, right? And I am losing some of this down there, so I'm going to set it straight up and down. I should have gotten my one out that had the needle on it and pushed it down in, but I'll just let it absorb down in there. And Jeannie and Ray really helped me this morning. If nothing else, just talking me through different things that it could be. My, um, if you're watching this on the recording, I couldn't get um, any Ustream. And this is not even going in there, it doesn't look like. All right, hang on. Let me get my napkin here. I've got a puddle down here. Fortunately, the alcohol isn't going to hurt anything, so... But I lost a bunch of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I didn't want to get this crap on my hands. I made a big old fat mess here. I'll put this back down in there. I guess it doesn't matter. All right. Clean off my alligator clip, or some people might call that a roach clip. Not me, of course. Clean up my little mess here. It doesn't look like I got much in there, but we'll see. I can always add more. And that was the paper I was going to write on. Oh, well, I can still write on it because I didn't get anything up there. All right, we'll use it. All right, close all this stuff up before I break anything else today. <laughs> I probably should just sit up, drink coffee, and shut up. 
I will have a sterile art area. How to blow up your markers video. <laughs> you guys are funny. Hi, Picola. Anybody else who has come in while I was doing that little thing? We're going to... The one guy said shake it. Um, I don't know what the hell that's going to do, frankly. But... Um, because there's spelt down in there that it should have absorbed into. So, and he said give it a minute or two and then try it. So, is that a minute or two? Look at Baby, I might have saved my marker. I'll add more to it since I lost so much. But yeah, there you go. Um, and I don't know if denatured alcohol would work different or better or whatever, but now it is what it is so I can put that back in with my oh no I'm gonna leave it out add more to it later hi Karen so anyway if you watch me yesterday I went ahead and did this with the alcohol markers um, I still have some I want to do the detail with pencil and then I'm gonna add the um, the lettering up here but I thought uh, rather than do it on the original art, maybe I'd rather do it on a separate sheet and then just put it on there. How about that? It did work, Eileen, so there you go. Um, and then I'm going to do some detail with um, colored pencil and maybe some more markers. I don't know. But for the lettering, I'd shown you guys yesterday. Um, I'd just scratch this on here real quick if I wanted to do the brush lettering with the... Um, cursive or if I wanted regular lettering and I think I'm going to do it like this with my stencil. It just looks better to me. Maybe if I was a better letterer. Anyway, so I did a little um, layout here um, and went ahead and spaced it and centered it so you guys didn't have to watch me do all that. Um, and that was before I discovered that my world had gone to hell in a handbasket and I couldn't load Ustream. Or maybe that was while I was trying to fix it. I don't know. It was a bad one. By the way, the book Bren made didn't use a ruler at all. Bren, what is the matter with you? <laughs> Get yourself a ruler. Everybody needs a good ruler. Okay, so the quote is going to be, live every day like it's spring. And I'm sorry if you can hear the heavy equipment outside. The neighbor is, that's why there's been so much noise lately. The neighbor is getting a new driveway. Um, so yeah, it's been noisy here all morning. I would complain about that, but Jeannie would call me a whiner. Um, I'll just say that it's been very annoying. And this is one of those um, stencils that we ordered from Amazon. It's called a bullet journal stencil. So go to Amazon and search bullet stencil, bullet journal stencils, and you'll get tons of opportunity to spend money. Which today is okay because it's what was it? Was it break the bank day, Eileen? <laughs> what was it? Ignore Bren. <clears throat> Don't ignore me, Bren. Hi, Jillian. And I have spaced this out so I know about where it's centered. And I've done that before. But if you want me to do it again, I can show you again. It involves rulers, so I can't very well do it when Eileen's here because every time I get a ruler out she wets herself Ugh, can you hear those trucks they're delivering asphalt and everything else over there equipment I wish they were doing my driveway go for broke day there you go you know you know it, call that whether you were born. I know. 
I wish you guys could have heard the conversation with um, Jeannie and Ray this morning when we were trying to figure out what was going on with my computer um, because it was a browser problem but it honestly you guys it wouldn't even let me search for Ustream on Google but I could I downloaded Firefox and it would let me go to Ustream on Firefox so I knew it was a browser problem um, but Ray was so funny the things he had me doing he had me turning around in a circle on one leg flapping my arms making bird noises it was funny but we finally decided that that's probably what fixed my computer it was funny and I, at that point I really needed a good laugh you guys I was ready for a good laugh it was just a weird thing but what I was doing yesterday at Dee Dee's, and I noticed something weird when I was at Dee Dee's yesterday. Um, I had taken one of the blog, gone to one of the blogs, right, to get all of the different Ustream links. And I was taking the link and going to that channel and bookmarking it in my favorites, right? Um, and I noticed, I don't know, after I'd done a few of them, that I was getting, um, in the chat area, great in great big letters, bad request. And I didn't really give much thought to it. I figured, well, I had my chat open over at Dee Dee's, um, you know, and it's probably not going to load two chats or something, you know. So I had kind of excused it, um... thinking oh no big deal but I could still get into um, channels yesterday and the bad request was happening intermittently so I knew something was going on but I didn't know what and it let me into Xandra's last night I think I had to try a couple times but I didn't even think that was weird because I not uncommonly have trouble at Xandra's and I don't know what that's about. Um, but this morning, when it wouldn't even let me do a Google search, it wouldn't let me into my own channel, nothing. I could go down to Robert's computer, get on everything fine. It was my computer. So I was going to restore it. Um, yeah. Anyway, after I cleared my browser, cache, all my everything I cleared it out not one thing left um, yeah then when we tried it came up just fine and I didn't center that one perfectly but that's okay we're gonna live with it so yeah anyway I'll quit whining about it now but that's what my day's been like in case you're wondering <laughs> damn cat waking me up at some ungodly hour with her meowing but like I told Darren no cats were hurt this morning not that I didn't want to I want to hurt her every morning though when she starts meowing before the sun's up Like, she doesn't understand the word retirement. I'm retired. I don't have to get up. And it's not even like she wants to be fed. She just wants us up. So I know this isn't very much fun, and I apologize, but it's about all I can handle today. And I want to get this done. Alright, live every day like it's spring. The worst one for me is Heather's. You can't stay there. Heather streams too early in the morning for me. I can't, yeah. Can't do that.
All right. Believe it or not, let's see. I'll try one of these pens. I'm going to throw these desk pens away here pretty quick. They're just not... Yeah, see that one? It's just not working. Worth a crap. It's going. Bye-bye. I think I have a whole box. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to get a new pen out. How about that? It's not like I don't have any, right, Eileen? I have a couple of pens that I can get out. I won't show you this box because Eileen will never let me forget it. Let's see, this is a Zig.2. Nope, that's a zero, zero, 005. Here we go. I like these. Um, I like the Micron pens. I think they're my favorite. But I like these Zig pens too. And they're, in my opinion, interchangeable. So he was happy I laughed. He was funny. He was one funny guy. That's a zero one nib. Oh, there's nothing better than a brand new black pen. I promise you. Here's the rat. If this bad boy isn't going to work well, I'm going to be mad. Hi, honey. I'm streaming. Don't say anything ignorant. You mean I can't curse or anything? Just don't say anything ignorant. 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 Well, now that opens the door where I can talk pretty good. Yeah. You want to see the pen box? No. <laughs> um... That's not going to happen. Because really, Eileen will never let me forget it if you see the pen box. Uh oh I don't care if you see it. I don't want Eileen to see it. I see. Oh. <laughs> and I don't want you to know where it is because you'll probably get into it. Oh? Oh? Pen box. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I'll see some of them laying on the table. Yeah, these are the brand new ones that I just opened. Oh. But I have them in a special box, all the brand new ones that's sitting right there. But don't you look at it. Oh. Well, I might get to want a cigar after a while. You're going to, you would <laughs> want my pants. And I gave you one the other day. Well, how come it didn't make it downstairs? Or that's, in that sounds like a personal problem to me. Yeah. I think you snatched it up before I got out of here with it. That could have been. If you, you <laughs> snooze, you lose. <laughs> That's all i got to say to you. I must have snoozed it. Yeah. Oh, me. Don't go near that box, Robert Bond. I just think I'm getting ahead of the game, and here, here it goes again. Yep, get over yourself. Eileen said, hi, Robert. Jeannie said, hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Tell them all hi. The, Mom, send me a picture. <laughs> Do what? Galena wants to see the box that all the pens are in. And I am not giving Eileen any ammunition at all. She has enough. <laughs> There's nothing worse than needing a good new pen and not having it, so. Really Karen funny. yelled, hey, rat. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> and Galena's saying, just remember, she's leaving for a couple of weeks. I know. He can hardly wait. I know he can hardly wait. Oh, yeah. Him and the cat. They're going to do all the things that I frown upon. I'm not sure what that is, though. We don't have many rules around here. Well, 
we might make up with a fox out here and have an extra. I wish. You really need to tell that goofball neighbor if that fox ends up dead, I'm going to kill him. We found, I think I told you guys here oh, a few months ago, I don't know how long it's been, quite a while actually, the neighbor killed Robert's fox because it got one of its chickens. We do not live in a chicken neighborhood, first of all. Um, anyway, the fox ended up dead, and I was very upset about it. Very, very upset about it. Well, then Robert was coming home. It was either yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. Yesterday, I think. Um, and another little fox ran out in front of him, right out in front of our house. Which means... Either another one's moved in or a baby grew up or something. But anyway, there's another fox around here. The idiot neighbor still has chickens. So if he sees the fox, because the fox is going to want to kill the chickens, you know it's going to happen. But I told Robert, you go over and talk to him and tell him he better not kill that fox. I'm going to go over there and watch it in a minute. Okay. There's heavy equipment out front. Robert's pretty darn excited. And I know I could have printed this off the computer, but I didn't want to, okay? And I know that's what some of you were thinking. Why don't you just print it off on the computer? I could have. I didn't want to. I want it to be all handmade. Hi, Darren. You had to go pick up a box of art foamies. Yay, you. Where did you have to go pick up a box of art foamies? at Hobby Lobby. Can you guys hear the heavy equipment in the background? I don't know if you can or not. I can hear it. But I don't know if you guys can. They're like scraping and it's, yeah, it's a pain in the neck. But I'm just glad my computer's working again. We live in the sticks in Nova Scotia. Growing up here sent to me after I paid the big bucks, of course, from the art foamy people. Oh, okay. The noise is all the asses fault. No, this is the other neighbor. We used to have great neighbors. Now we have a bunch of ass hats, really. I saw Kia write, I think it was, no, it was Carrie Ann, I think, that wrote that, and it made me laugh. Ass hat. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. So after I got the alcohol markers out yesterday, did anybody else get theirs out and play with them? I actually felt pretty good after playing with them yesterday. I think I will want to use them more. The only thing is, like I can't use them in the beast, right? Because they bleed through so bad. Yeah. Darren, you sound like you live where I live. I'm so far out in the boonies. It's a wonder UPS even delivers out here.
and I got bad news yesterday. Our state sent, well, the Senate hasn't voted on it yet, but our state representatives voted yesterday to start collecting sales tax on Amazon. Bums me out. $30 million in Oklahoma alone is what they're estimating they'll collect. And that's not all for me. If I lived here, lived here, it'd be sixty million. You did. You used them on glossy paper. <laughs> she is just never gonna cut me any slack at all. <clears throat> I don't even know if I have. Well, I do have glossy paper, but it's a. I'll have to go down and get some of it. I don't have much glossy paper. I will say that. And did you like them on glossy paper? I guess is what I should ask next. Did they work awesome? And were you using the Hoo Hoo Hero ones that we all ordered? But now I got thinking after I did that. They they had some at Tuesday morning last time I was up there and I picked them up and I looked at them. Actually I think um, Colleen might have gotten them. Um, they had some Spectrum Noir and then they had another brand. And they were pretty inexpensive. Um, and I picked them up and I thought, oh you don't need them. You don't even use the alcohol markers you've got. Now I wish I'd gotten them. I did while you were watching the recording. You have 200 of them. Oh my gosh, Galena. Well, I only have the ones you saw, plus the ones that I got at Hobby Lobby, that blue set, which I like them a lot. Not that I'm going to go out shopping for more. I mean, and I watch, like on YouTube, a lot of different people using them. Um, Bailey J and stuff, they use them all the time. And they make it look so darn easy. Now I'll just, I'm erasing my guidelines. And I will slap it on there and we'll see if we like it. If we don't like it, it doesn't have to stay. That's the cool thing. And then I might draw some flowers. See how I left space um, around the spring? I did that so, well, I was going to do larger lettering, which at the end I figured out, well, that's not going to work. So, um... I thought, well, I'm still going to leave the spacing the same because I can draw flowers in there or something and make it a little bit prettier. And I haven't decided either yet if I'm going to um, leave this background white or if I'm going to color it. But I used waterproof ink, so um, <clears throat> if I want to, I can color it two and three quarters. Here's my ruler, Eileen. Alright, now my dirty paper can go away. I'm going to pull the camera back out so you're not seeing. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. It looks a lot cleaner. You posted a link for the 168 cent. Wow, they are getting those really, really cheap, aren't they? All 
I won't be ordering any for a while, though, I promise you. Now it's going to become a part of the art, so I'm not going to peel it off. I'll have to cover it if it doesn't work out well. There we go. Looks very merry like. Yes, it does. Very much. She was definitely my inspiration here. I won't deny that. Dee Dee has shown um, one of her books. Um, it's. Um, it's just all about Mary Englebright, and it's a big book, great big book, and it's got a lot of her art in it and tells how she um, started out and shows her old art and everything. It's probably one of my favorite books I've ever gotten. Thank you, Darren. Now let's just do some details. Um, I need to get out my I need more room around here is what I need um let me see let me get out my Prismacolor pencils let me use Prismacolor again because I know them and I like them and I showed my cat butt book yesterday oh my gosh did I end up telling you who that where it came from my friend who used to live over here was part of our coffee club um, Senate. Okay, so I need the yellow orange. And I need to fix this pencil case too. I'm gonna get out the light blue. This is a deco blue. I love the deco blue. Dee Dee sent me hers. I love Dee Dee for that. They don't make the deco blue anymore. I don't. They quit making a lot of the deco colors at one time, and then they turned around and brought them all back. So I need purple, and I know my purples aren't in here because I'm using them for another project. But we'll get them out anyway. There's another light blue I might want to use. And greens, lots and lots of greens. Yeah, um, actually it was Elaine, Eileen. Do you remember back when I was copying with her every day? I called you Elaine all the time. Her name is Elaine. And it was Elaine who sent it. She's coming over to see me on Tuesday, and we're going to go in and see Mary. Um, so I would normally go see Mary tomorrow, and I may go anyway just because Mary's daughter is out of town. And so um, I may just go ahead and go in. <clears throat> Because little Mary needs visitors. She needs to know people still love her. Alright, that should give me a good selection. I just picked out lights and darks. Yeah, well, it was Elaine who sent it. And she watches the stream, so... Um, I think she watches on YouTube, though. I don't think she ever comes to a live stream. Oh, that's nice, Dorothy. It's um, 
it's pretty here. I mean, and the sun's partly out, I guess, and there's lots of flowers around, but it's still cold, you guys. It's like 40, 46 degrees. Like, it, I don't know why it's not warming up. Oh, I didn't get any brown out. Let's see if I have a brown in there. I don't. The one color I forgot. Here's a brown, but I want a darker brown. This one will work. And this one will work. Alright, that should do it. Okay, and I am going to use, I think, um, some mineral spirits to... Um, blend the colored pencil, I think. I think, I think. So, I'll just jump in and start. Adding a little bit more color. When I use the mineral spirits, I'm not real careful how I color. Because <laughs> the mineral spirits is going to blend it all anyway. Dee Dee doesn't use that, but I do. Hi, Linda. Did you see the wax like blender that Rach used on one of her videos? It looks great. Well, I have a couple of the, the wax blenders, Eileen. Um, But I still like, for blending out a color, I still like Mineral Spirits. But I have a couple of them. I have the Derwent one. Um, of course, I have the Prismacolor ones. I have a ton of those. Um, I, I'm behind on a few of the Rach videos, though. But I save those. They're, like, special. When I'm, I don't know, rela just totally relaxed and just want to watch somebody art, Rach's videos are perfect. And one thing I love about Rach is she's so good about um, explaining what product she's using, what she's applying it with. She probably has enough experience to know that if she doesn't say stuff like that, she's going to get a million questions. And the more views I get on YouTube, I'm getting that. You know, that people pay a lot more closer attention than you think. For real. I'm learning that. Did I get out like an umber? Maybe I don't even need to. Let's see what this one's going to work like. I'm like Xander, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do or what I'm going to take, what journals and stuff I'm going to take to Oz. That's the hardest decision I have to make, I swear.
Uh oh, Dorothy was having. Oh, it was like a can of wax. It comes in a tin. Oh my gosh, Eileen, we need to find out about that. Was it? Um, what was she um, blending with it? Colored pencil or some other product? You need to come here with all the information, Eileen. All the information. If you're going to dump these bombshells on me. Wax in a tin to blend with. Actually, the other day, Eileen, I've got, I've still got them all sitting here. I um, was cleaning up some of my messes, which I have to do constantly. Um, I came across that drawing I was doing with the powdered blender, and I am convinced. Um, That I'm going to finish that. I really am. I am going to finish it. And use that powder more. Because I can't believe that so many people find it such a fabulous thing. And you and I spent all that money. We got to get it figured out. Okay, and I didn't get out a light pink either, duck on it. That's all right. I've got the white here. I'll use it. Do I have a white out? Why can I not hang on to a white Prismacolor pencil? What is wrong with me? I am forever looking for a white. Oh, got to turn off my beans. Hang on, I'll be right back. looking for my white. I know I have it somewhere. Okay, there's a blender. I'll show that one. Um, I don't know where my prism color blender is. Where is my white pencil? Mm, annoying. I really need to um, organize these. I really do. It's just not in here. I don't know what I did with it. It's just gone. Probably out in the other room. All right, we'll see if Eileen came back. Okay. This is what Rach was using. Okay, Denise. Hi, Denise. Um, all right, I'm going to have to um, look. Because I don't use, I mean, Citrus Solve is, this is odorless um, mineral spirits, and it works the same way. Um, you can use different applicators with it. I usually just use a Q-tip, and it works fine for me, and I'm fine with that. And I wanted my indigo blue pencil as well. You can tell I'm pretty darn organized here, right on top of it. There we go. All right. Still don't have my white, but... I'll find one somewhere. All right. I'm going to go ahead. 
and do up around the sun so you can kind of see how that works. I've got us in so close, but I want to be close so you can see. Okay, and all this is, like I said, is odorless mineral spirits in a little jelly jar with um, a sponge in there. And I just touch the sponge and it sucks up enough. And it blends very nice. Very, very nice. make the sun look a little round rather than flat and this stuff evaporates really really quickly so um, there's no odor, there's no stain, there's nothing you don't have to worry about any of that it just smooths it out really really nice you're going to use alcohol markers for Rachel's challenge. Well, I I've enjoyed it just because I'm learning something, and um, you know I bought the products. I might as well use them. That's pretty much how I feel. Is you bought the darn things, use them. I'm trying to stay away from that brown there. Okay. I like those okay now. What else? I, I'm not crazy about these white flowers here. I will say that. Oh, and I got to still draw the center of those. Let me look up a reference or something and see how I want to do those. If you could see this room, you would be saying, Girl, you need to be cleaning. What are you doing, Artin? Um, yeah, Denise just gave us a link to that. Um, Yes, I could do. I'm just going to do it with colored pencil. I need to get out some of my replacement pencils. My pencils are getting pretty small, and I think I've shown. I know I've shown this before, but when they get down small like this, I glue them to their replacement, and then I can use the whole pencil. So these are getting short enough now where, um, yeah, they could. be glued on to their little replacements and that's about the time I know you know if I don't haven't already ordered a replacement I go ahead and get a replacement
Hi, Allie. Hi, Kathy. Is the mineral... Sp oh, it, no, it's for the pencil, Kathy. Um, the alcohol, if I wanted to blend that, I would use another alcohol marker. And I did do that yesterday, but today now I'm just doing the... Um, the detail with a colored pencil because one I'm better with it I know the product better and I want this to look good so I'm going to probably more effort than I than I would for say a color book page because if I color in a color book page that is strictly um, for relaxation and just to be doing something I'm going to blend that a little bit. Yeah, the, the odorless mineral spirits doesn't change the, um, the alcohol marker at all. Just the, it, it wax, it melts the binder in the, um, colored pencil is what it's doing. The, well, Kathy, they blend really well, but I think the thing is about blending alcohol markers, I mean, I've seen people who do, especially with the Copic markers, I mean, they do absolutely seamless blending with the markers. But I think that's something that comes with a lot, a lot, a lot of practice, which I don't have. <laughs> um... So, if you want to see that, I would say go watch um, somebody who is really, really proficient at um, the markers. Because with those Copic markers, honestly, they can make their artwork and the blending absolutely seamless. But I, I would say... I colored with them more just like colors, but here, let's see, the, the red is an uh, alcohol marker blend, the leaves up here were blended, um, yeah, down here, so I blended with them some, and I can, we can play with that again here in a little while, um, but yeah, go watch somebody who has a whole lot more experience than I do. And I think you'll get a better feel for how well they work. I love the way they look. I will say that. Um, I'm just not very proficient. So maybe I'll get proficient doing more of this sort of stuff, right? But it's hard, you know, like, I know how to use the Prismacolors and stuff like that, so it's hard to, um, start learning a new product when you're, you already know, like, how the Prismacolors are going to work. So for me, that's my biggest thing, is I know how the Prismacolors are going to work, I know the colors, um, yeah. Maybe that's just an excuse. I don't know, but and plus, I like to do real fine detail work. I really do. I enjoy that, and it's hard to do with the um, the bullet tips on the cheap alcohol markers. You know, maybe if I got the Copics, which I'm not going to get. Don't be having a cow, how Eileen. I'm not going to buy them. I'm really not. Um, don't need them. Don't do that kind of art. Um, but they have the brush nib. Well, I yesterday's Jeannie, I didn't take the link, Jeannie, sent me a link to the Blick markers. And apparently the Blick markers have the, um, the brush nib as well. So you might be able to do more fine detail kind of work with um, the Blick markers. But with the bullet nibs, 
mm -mm, not so good, in my opinion. That's just me. Yeah, they are. I think they're expensive, too. I really do. And, you know, I suppose if I was doing art where it would really benefit me, I could justify it somehow. I'm just not. And I, you know, I can't justify that. That's crazy. Just can't justify it. I did buy the Copic Colorless Blender. I think Dee Dee told me to buy it. So if Dee Dee tells you to do something, you better damn well do it. Yeah. So I'm leaving, you know, like much of the base um, colors that were the marker and just filling in a little bit of more detail with the color pencil is all. You have the polys and the pit pens that I want to experiment with. If I could just find the time, I would see, Kathy, I think that's my problem too is, you know, time, time, time. And I can buy all the products in the world, but if I don't have time to play with them, what's the point for real? And that's pretty much where I'm at, is time. But I will also say, too, is it's my own fault that I don't make the time. And that's one of the reasons I like streaming, because at least when I'm streaming, I'm, you know, either trying new products or using what I've got or whatever, you know. Where otherwise, I'll clean a bathroom or, you know, I'll, I'll make excuses or I'll do other stuff. That's the truth. Yeah, now I really like those purple crocus. They're looking good. Yep, Kathy, you can't beat a prisoner. You just can't. Just can't beat it. God, there's... What book is this from? This is not from a book, Allie. I drew this. Um, Mary Englebright was my inspiration for this. Um, I love her drawing. I love, I love everything about Mary Englebright. Kind of like Dee Dee. I want to be her when I grow up. Um, but yeah, no, I just used her from inspiration and I drew this myself. So it's not from any book. But it's very Mary Englebright-ish. Some of my very favorite Mary Englebright flowers are, um, and they're so easy to draw, and I draw them a lot. Where's my pen? Are the circle ones? Just start with a circle, draw a circle around the circle, and draw the leaves like this. That is some of my very favorite Mary Englebright flowers. And I also like the flower that you just draw a big circle and three lines like this. And they look kind of like a rose or something. Um, but yeah, these are all inspired by Mary Englebright art. All right, crocus is done. I'll do the blue flowers next. Okay, I did get that out. And yesterday when I was using the, the markers and I was thinking about, you know, going back and doing the detail later, I tried to choose the mid-range colors so I could come in here with darker or lighter and go over it. But with my poor selection of colors, honestly, a lot of times you didn't have a chance. What's Eileen fading about? You want to be a cross between Laura Birch and Mary Englebright? I, I can't say I blame you for that. What it, what's Eileen fading about? I missed it and I can't go back and read it now. 
don't be doing anything that makes Eileen fall faint because if I don't have her to pick on, I'm sunk, man. I have to pick on the rat. Oh no. Are they tearing up what's over there or just going to asphalt on top of it? They're putting asphalt <coughs> down on the already prepared ground. Is it down at Mainstay or at Dave's? Both. Oh, okay. They're putting in a driveway in over to the side and then a big ramp out to the road on the front. Alrighty then. Oh, yeah, she did. She about wet herself when I did that. But aren't they nice and crisp and straight? I mean, who wouldn't love that? Sometimes I just don't get her. Yeah, those are better now. Now I've got to work on this green, all the green. I'm not sure what I want to do in the grass in the background. I don't really want to sit and draw individual blades of grass, right? That could be really, really icky. It could, it could. Let's see. And I don't know how some of this is going to show up on camera. I'm actually putting the light over the dark. Can you see it? Um, yellow might work a little better, actually. Yeah, it does. I'm not sure you guys are seeing it real good, though. I need to go find my white is what I need to do. The yellow is actually showing up a little bit better. I think you guys can see it. And I didn't get out a dark green, darn it. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on this one. Let's see how it will show up. A little bit. What's a chigger? Oh my gosh, chiggers, put chiggers in the grass. We have chiggers down here, and chiggers are not a laughing matter, I swear to God. Chig rose. <laughs> They're um, almost invisible. Um, little bugs that get on you and bite and move and bite and move I don't even know what family they live in or if they're from but if you ever get chiggers 
Oh my gosh. If you live in Canada, the closest thing I can think of would be um, black flies. They'll get on you and they will absolutely drive you crazy. And they like to go um, like at your waist or your socks or something like that and absolutely bite the hell out of you. They're miserable. They're absolutely miserable. All right, I'm about ready to leave that green read. Looking up there, it looks pretty good. I wish I had a darker green. Maybe I'll get one out. They are terrible. If you've ever lived in a place where there's chiggers, you hate them. Absolutely hate them. Um, we used to have um, blackberry bushes around here. And for whatever reason, the chiggers lived on the um, blackberries. And you almost have to take like a bath in Clorox to get rid of them. They're so bad because when you itch, you'll itch them off and they'll fall somewhere else and bite you again. Yeah, it's horrible, 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 horrible. All right, got a dark one out. All right, I was just looking up here at the camera and I wanted this darker in here. Sometimes you can see stuff on the camera better than you can when it's sitting right here in front of you. They use in our driveway? Uh-huh. Why? I don't know because it's easier. I don't particularly like the noise when I'm doing this. Oh, well. They're about true anyway. No, really, you have to, to get rid of them. Um, a bath with a little bit of clocks in it um, is the best thing. And they've got stuff you can buy, but really, a little bit a clocks bath is really about the only thing. Now I've got to decide about that grass. I don't like that whole field of light green. Of course, it, I guess it's not horrible. What do you guys think? Because if I put, you know, like individual blades of grass down in there, um, I'm just going to change the color from this light green to um, a little bit darker green is all I'm going to do. I'm trying it down here in the corner to see if I want to go to the trouble. Yeah, they're really all over. It's just whether or not you get out into an environment where... You, well, we didn't have them in Colorado, I don't think. I don't remember ever having chiggers in Colorado, but they're, they're down here everywhere. You just got to 
be careful. Ticks are bad too, you know, you just got to use stuff to keep them off you. Ticks will give you stuff Ajax won't wash off. That's true, they will. They're bad down here. Ticks are horrible down here. And we live, of course, out in the... When I say out in the country, that's misleading, but we have a lot of deer and a lot of wildlife out here, and every one of them have ticks. So everywhere they go, the ticks fall off them. Don't do it. Don't do the grass. Too late. <laughs> I don't have to do the whole thing. I'll do it down here on the close-up part and maybe out here further away. Um, I won't do it. I'm just going to see. And when I take a photo of it, you're not going to see it anyway, so... We have, I don't know if you could, other places have it. I never heard of it really until I moved to Oklahoma. Um, we had deer tick in Colorado. Down here, um, they have what they call seed ticks, which are the most minute little ticks you've ever seen. And they're kind of like chiggers. You know, you itch yourself and they fall off and bite you again and... Um, yeah, not pretty. But you can barely see a seed tick. I don't know one thing I wanted to do. not a big deal you guys can't tell but I can all right there I did the grass down here um, and you guys are going well it doesn't make that big a difference so your dog yeah I've known people who had Lyme disease because of ticks so yeah and if you catch it early you can treat it I don't know, I kind of like the grass. And that didn't take that long, really. You were going to come by the house next door, but you'd rather have snow? I don't, can't say, well, I, I hate snow, so. I don't know. I'm kind of liking the grass on top of the green, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and do it because I like it. And it's not taking that long, so. But up close, it really makes it look better, so makes it look more finished.
Yeah, I really, when I left Colorado, I that was one thing I never missed was the snow. We get a little bit down here, but I mean, it, it covers the grass for a little while and then it's gone. Like, but one thing I had never experienced in Colorado <clears throat> was an ice storm. Oh my gosh, one of the first couple years we lived down here, it was before Jim passed away for sure, we had an ice storm. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. Never in Colorado. But fortunately, we don't get those real often either. But we have tornadoes down here. And they really suck. I don't know if I told you guys, we were having, we had company over here one night. I think I did tell you guys. Um, some friends from Texas had stopped by, either on their way home or on their way to Texas. Probably on their way home because it was a regular spring storm. And you all heard about the Joplin tornado when it just absolutely devastated that whole town. Well, we had company that night. Do you remember this, Robert? Mm -hmm. Bob and Sarah were here? No. Yeah. And um, I was fixing dinner, and we were, you know, having a drink before dinner. And um, we knew storms were coming, and it knocked out the satellite and everything. But we just all kept, you know, yakking and fixing dinner and hanging out. Well, the next day, we get up and find out that that tornado has come right across Grand Lake. It went within, how close, Robert? Not even a mile of us, right? And Robert and I went out in the boat, and it was literally so close to us, you guys. It was so scary when we saw, and it would it picked, it went across the lake, and you could see the path that it went. Every tree in its path was gone. It would pick up houses, take them off their foundation, move them over, say four or five feet, and drop them. We couldn't believe it, and we had no clue. No clue that it was that close to us. So I think it was a year or two after that that we put the storm shelter in. Because <laughs> that was too close for comfort, boy. But I will say for the town of Joplin, they have done an amazing job of recovering from that and rebuilding, and it's all so new and clean. Some towns, I think a tornado actually helps them. <laughs> but most of the businesses all rebuilt. Um, yeah, I like the grass. I'm glad I did the grass. Um, But yeah, they did a, an amazing job of recovering from that and actually making that town a lot better. A lot better. I'll put some green, some yellow in here, Dorothy. Here and there. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see, but we'll add some. To me, it's lighter than everything around it, so it looks like um, spring grass anyway, but we'll just add some. I'm so glad I got that computer thing figured out. What a hassle that was this morning. And I don't have to buy a new computer. <laughs> We're already using your driveway. Can we have lunch too? <laughs> God, that annoys me a lot. Hi, Christy. 
Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, tinnitus. I have tinnitus and so does Robert. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a whole hell of a lot you can do about it, Kathy. It's very annoying. I have noise in my ears all the time. And I know it's probably from listening to rock and roll full blast my whole life. All right. What do you think? I think, I think, I think. Unless I think of something else that I need to do. Oh, I know one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to add some light blue. And a little bit of purple to the bee's wings. Jean just tweeted you, Janet, and is telling you how to fix your computer. <laughs> Jean's so funny. She's so sweet. I have thought about her so many times today. And you guys, um, I don't think she watches my recordings. Um, but I still feel like we want, like I want to, and, and I know several of the other fibs have um, mentioned that they would like, to do something for Jean. Um, I think at the very least we need to um, send flowers to the funeral. Um, so why don't you guys like in chat right now go ahead and, and put out some ideas and I could probably set it up and ask Jennifer Krakalakin for some help because she's done it before. I've never set up uh, um, like a PayPal thing to do a gift for somebody but I know it can be done because Jennifer Krakalakin's done it a couple different times but I'd like to do something for Jean um, so what do you guys think I mean Eileen I know you um, would like to do something and contribute and I know I would and um, a couple of Linda Ray yesterday said that she wanted to do something so I, I would definitely like to do something for her so what do you guys think tell me what you think but I think at the very least we need to send flowers to her mother's funeral from everyone yeah but no payment to me, just in your names. They have been to the funeral home, so I will ask her later what funeral home, and will send the flowers. No, 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 Darren. No, Darren. Um, please, please, please let us all contribute. Um, so, Darren, if you're volunteering, why don't we do it this way? If you can get a hold of the funeral home, you know the funeral home. Um, oh, Dorothy's already done the PayPal thing. Okay, so let's do two things. Darren, if you can do the flowers and we can send you money um, to help you pay for it. And I really, I want to do that. And I know the rest of us do too, Darren. And I know, that's so generous and kind of you to offer. But you sent that basket from all of us, which was also so sweet and so generous. Um, really, sent, put your PayPal out there and let us contribute to the flowers for the funeral. And then if we want to go ahead and set up something else for Jean, um, you know, then you can go to Dorothy's PayPal thing and, and contribute there as well. But I think at the very least, um, I'd, I'd love for us to send flowers to Hi, Lori. You don't do PayPal, Darren? Well, I can do it on my PayPal and write you a check. Um, but, yeah, I, I would like all of us to contribute. Honestly, I would. Um, I really, really would. 
All right, up here in the um, um, quote part of it, I'd like to go ahead and add some flowers. So after I drew this, I got thinking maybe I could just put some of those flowers in there. Um, and I, I know Eileen is going to wet herself when I do this, but I'm going to do it. If Dorothy did a PayPal thing, the money will be pounds. Well, PayPal will convert for you. Um, I sat here and paid for all my airline tickets in Australia to Jen, and they converted every penny of it. So that was cool. Yeah, so you can do like um, pay in American dollars and convert it to whatever. So I'm sure Dorothy can convert whatever. Those are kind of big, so I don't want to do them that big. And again, if I don't like this, I'll undo it. Because remember, this is just paper glued on top of that, so... But Darren, I really think you should let us help contribute. I really do. A plant or something when she gets home would be nice. Something that lasts. See, Kathy, that's always been my feeling, too. Um, do something else for Jean. I'm close by and can take care of this part. What goes around comes around. No argument, please, will be from everyone. Darren, you are an absolute sweetheart. An absolute sweetheart for doing that really um, okay Dorothy that's a great thing alright what Dorothy just said and I, I think it's it's wise because Jean will have additional expenses um, from having to travel and um, Dorothy said she just sent her some money in memory of her mother and told her it was to help her with extra expenses. No, so, can't. You better keep me busy. Um, why? Because I'm just going to have the driveway seal coated and repaired. Oh, okay. $1,900. I love it. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah no, if they'll do that, that'd be awesome. Um, They're not going to do it today. but Just EBD whatever you want to her email address. Okay. All right, you guys helped Darren picking out the flowers. Darren, I can't thank you enough. I think it's so sweet. Um, I don't know that, Kathy, if there's a foundation. I know her mother suffered from, was it, oh, I don't want to say anything that I don't know for sure. So, um Yeah. Her mother did have some condition that she suffered with all of her life, and they may have something set up for donations rather than flowers or something like that. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to find that out because I honestly don't know. Um, usually, and it's probably too soon to be looking stuff up but normally you can just google the name um, and date which will have that um, from Jean's tweets the other day um, and find an obituary or funeral services or something like that so, her church might do memorial donations. See, there's a lot of things. Um, all right, Dorothy said spring flowers. See, and I, I don't know that I've ever heard Jean mention if she has a favorite flower or if her mother had a favorite flower. Um... But that's true. If you have um, Jean's email address, you can always um, PayPal her money 
and write. Okay, her name is Helen Pitts. I should remember that because that was my mother's name, was Helen. Um, so I guess I'm going to get work done on my driveway today. Ugh. I'm glad, though, it needs to get done. So, um, just thinking about Jean. Um, this pen is not wanting to write on this marker paper, and that I don't get. Weird. Weird, weird. No pink flowers. You're just caving to Eileen. <laughs> no, I, I think actually the flowers do have some sort of meaning, but I can't tell you right off the top of my head. I'm not sure that we're getting anything accomplished. Well, Darren is saying she's going to go ahead and, and do it for all of us, and we can return the favor later. Um, and she said, please, no arguments. So when somebody is like that, I, I tend to not want to argue with them and go ahead and cave and just remember the kindness when I get an opportunity later. Um, I think Darren is, um, very kind for doing it, um, but I think she means it as well, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in with the, um, markers, the little flowers that I got going on up here in the quote and I hope I like it because I don't want to have to redo that again and if people can't figure out that this was Mary Engelbart inspired their something wrong with them, right? One thing I'm not liking about the markers on this paper that I chose, and this is not the marker paper, this is I think the pen and ink paper. It's bleeding a little bit, or, or spreading, you know? Not horribly, but you can't go right up to the edge, because it bleeds out. So if it gets too noisy out, if these guys start come over and start working on my driveway here pretty quick, guys, I may have to bail out on you. I hope not, but I may have to. You're not horrible, Darren. Are you kidding? No, I think that's the kindest, sweetest thing to offer to do something like that, especially after you just took that basket and gave us all credit for it. No, I think that's a, a sweet, kind gesture that you've offered. And if I implied in any way that you're horrible, shoot me dead. Because, no, I, I think it's unbelievably kind of you.
and I'll put the detail in with pencil again. All right, I'm going to have a blue, yellow, pink, red, purple. So one, two, three, four, five. We're just talking about um, what to do for jeans, CB. Um, maybe I'm not going to do a yellow one. Um, and the ladies in chat can tell you what the um, what the consensus is at this point. I can't tell you how often I've thought of her today, though. Final answer. The ladies in chat are going to tell you. Um, I'm not sure that we came up with a final answer. <laughs> um, Darren is going to send flowers to the funeral, and then the rest of us can contribute directly to Jean as we see fit. To help her with her additional expenses that she's had to incur because of the two trips home now. Oh, that's too dark. Don't like that one. Nope, nope, nope. Glad I did that. All right, there we go. Oh, I like that. Now it looks like it's part of it. All right, I'm better. And then I think I know how I'm going to go ahead and finish that, which is also very Mary Ingle Bright-ish. Okay, so now I'm going to get my orange pencil and my pencil extender. Where's my dark pink? This one will work. Okay, let me see. Darren says she'll miss. I sent Jean some money via PayPal. Memory. Okay. Let me see, just see if I'll read find out all the info and if anyone wants to help me decide on flower types set let me know be a message and need to find out best flower shop there's several see that's how I feel too CB that it can it can get pretty pricey well Darren just know that any time you can say back up the boat here um, let's do a collection because I know there are several of us Dee, Dee included um, that will want to participate and contribute so 
just know that um, doesn't have to be a big hassle here or anywhere for that matter. Just know that we'll we're gonna do right by you. I promise. I'm not crazy about that purple marker, so I'm going to go ahead and use this lavender because it's just prettier. And I guess if any of you wanted to, um, I don't know, let me think about it and I'll, I'll put something out later. I don't want to say anything that, yeah, because this is being recorded. So let me give it some thought and I'll. All right, now just the green, and I think I'm getting close to having this bad boy ready. Um, I, I think that would be okay, Dorothy. How do you guys feel about it? Um, I mean, let me, let me check chat people right now quickly, Dorothy, if you don't mind. Let me just see who's here. Um, Because I think it's all very well-known people. Um, there's a band user? Huh. Eileen, have you been banning people? <laughs> um, I. There's only one person in chat that is an unknown, or it's just one person watching. Let me go turn that back on now. Um, tell you what, Dorothy, the way I'd rather handle it um, is to have people um, private message you on Twitter and ask you for it. I think that would be safer than just putting it out for public consumption, if you don't mind. Um, well, um, it, see, Eileen, and my feeling there is it may be too late for that. And I know Jean is incredibly private with her information. She doesn't let anybody just follow her. Um, and that's the only reason I'm hesitating, is I know Jean's feelings on privacy. And there is one person watching that's not signed into chat. And they can see the chat. They just can't chat themselves. Um, so that's why I'm being... Um, that's why I'm being like this. Um, I just... Yeah. Makes me uneasy putting something like that out there. Um, if it was my information, I'd say do it. It's not my information to broadcast and make public, is the thing.
I just asked myself, what would Mary do? And I thought she would use polka dots. Of course she would. All right, I'm liking that now. Yeah, that's feeling much, much better. All right, I'm open for suggestions. If I've overlooked anything, um, speak up now or forever hold your peace. I'm liking it a lot. It was Jan and she finally logged in. Okay. Um, All right, Lena, so now we know um, who the unknowns were, and I'm okay. Um, I'm okay putting it out there now um, because everybody in our chat are known people that every one of us know, and I think I would be comfortable with that. Um, yeah, there's no... Um, Nobody watching now that isn't locked in, so or logged in. So, um, go ahead and publish the email. Y'all get it written down, um, and then Eileen can clear the chat. And I have her email, so I'm I'm good. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> More importantly, you improve. I'm like, I'm okay with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it out um, and get rid of all my little marks over here um, because as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm about as done as done can be. For real. Now is when you need to be real careful so you don't cut crooked. Your knife doesn't slip after you spend all this time. <laughs> And then we're going to check that marker. And then I'll probably I'll sit here and check all my other markers. And if any of them have dried up, I will reconstitute them or revitalize them or whatever. Thank you, Beanie. I don't call you Beanie. I don't know why I just called you Beanie. Jeannie. Let me know when y'all get it. Alright, there we go. Finished. Piece of art. Thank you, Mary Engelbright, for your inspiration. I love you. I love your art. I love everything about you. And if I had my way, I would be you. How about that? Let's see. It's 418 already. Yikes. Did everybody get the information? Yeah, I don't ever call her Beanie. I think the only one who does call her Beanie is um, Ange. I can't think of anything else that I really want to do. I like just the plain sky, so I'm not going to do. Um, I'm not going to do anything with the the sky. But actually, I could use the colorless blender and try and put some clouds and stuff in it. 
but I think it's okay the way it is. I'm okay with it. If Mary Englebright had any idea how inspirational she is to me, yeah, I don't think she would mind me copying her stuff because she has been a huge inspiration to me. Not just now, I mean ever since I found her. Okay, now I have all these colored pencils that need to be put away. I will just put them in the bag with all these others that are part of a project, which I may be sorry for later, but we'll worry about that later. Because now I don't remember um, which ones were part of that project and which ones weren't, because I yanked some of them out. No big deal. Life goes on. And I did get out the blenders before I realized what Eileen was talking about. Not everyone got the info. Oh my god. Oh, that's not even one of the colorless blenders. But this is the Derwent, um, no, the Caran d'Ache um, colorless blender. I don't like it. My favorite colorless blender is still the Prismacolor. Shoot me dead, but it still is. But now I've got to go find out about that stuff that Eileen was talking about. So I hope somebody put it out on Twitter since I didn't take the link. Oh, I can't put this in my book yet because I haven't photographed it. So let's check the marker that I reconstituted or tried to reconstitute. That bad boy is juice. Oh, wow. Alcohol came puking out the other end. Yep, the 70% alcohol worked great, you guys. Great. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last. I probably ought to put some tape on it, right? And say when I did that to see if this is going to last a week or two weeks. <laughs> I'm curious. I really am. Okay, I have a Sharpie. Here, this is what we're going to do. I'll just write on it, right? Alright, I wrote the date on there. So now how do you how do I put it in my book? Um well I made my own book. Um and I've shown it a couple times. I'll show it again, I don't mind. Um but on one of my streams I made the cover for this book and then all I did to bind it was punch a couple holes and put elastic in it so the book can grow and then I went ahead and cut sheet protectors down to fit into the book so um, I've got enough for 52 weeks of prompts if I put them in um, front and back so we're on week six and I need to write down these prompts before I start forgetting them but this one will go in here now. So at the end of 52 weeks, I'm going to have a fun book of art. I'm so excited that I didn't sign. I do try and sign them. So, yep, this will go in my book. So it's, it's really simple. All it is is piece, two pieces of chipboard or cardboard or whatever covered with magical papers um, I added the lettering and stuff and then these are just sheet protectors cut down with holes punched in them Janet it was just zested oh is that's all it was okay alright well then no big deal alright and that I, I'll have to photograph before I add it and my marker worked so what do we want to do now? Because I've been on, what, two hours? Yeah, right at two hours. Um, got my thing done. So 
so I don't know. Here's uh, my feeling about the markers. I want to do more of them. Um, I won't be buying Copics, I'm sure. But I'm not the least bit unhappy with the Uhu Hoo Heroes. Um, if you see the Hobby Lobby brand on sale and you want to try alcohol markers, I would say um, for 12 bucks, I don't feel bad that I bought them, but the color selection is pretty pitiful. This was the color selection of the Hobby Lobby ones. Um, I'm just looking on here. It looked like 170 looked like it was getting dry. I might pull it out. I might just add alcohol. Where's 170? They've got numbers on the end. So let me see if I can find it. And the numbers um, are the color on here. Okay. Can you see that? That color is fairly accurate. It's kind of a, a skin tone tan color, right? Wait till you see it on paper. I'll just use this paper. Does that look like that? This is like a light, light, light pink. It's not tan even a little bit. So you meant what? Go take a break and come back. Do some glossy paper. I'm going to have to go dig for some glossy paper. All right. Now that I'm using it on that paper, it doesn't seem dry to me. So that one I'm not going to add to. What other ones seem dry? Take a break and come back. What would I do if I came back? Because I've got an hour or two. Let me see. 62. Just looking which other ones. 112 kind of looked like it was dry. Looking, looking, looking. Here's 112. Okay, this is another really weird one. Look at how bright. Doesn't that green look kind of neon? And these, you really got to get the. That is in no way neon green. Go dig for some. Okay. Yeah. Like the these colors are not even close to what they are. So if you buy these, you're gonna have to like put some on label paper and stick it to the um to the body of the marker because the the color indicators on here are like so not accurate at all. All right, so all right, let me do this. I will take a 15 minute break. I'm going to stop this recording if you've watched on YouTube. Thank you very much. Um and I'll come back in 15 minutes and I will have dug it up, dug it up, dug it up. Look at what you've got me doing, Eileen. No, Karen or Kathy, these are the um ones that Dee Dee and I got like uber cheap at Hobby Lobby. Um, she got the smaller set. I got the 36 set or something. Um, alcohol markers and their condo or conda. I got to put my glasses on. Sorry. Yeah, I have like three or four hours in Dallas, CB. I've got quite a bit of time. Conda. Um, they're not horrible. The colors are all very, very light. I need to do one sheet that has all of the um, alcohol markers that I've got. Um, but yeah, I hope I did, CB. So, all right, I'm going to stop this recording. If you've watched on YouTube, thank you very much. We'll catch you next time.